In this video, I'm going to show you how to get some insanely crisp character portraits in GTA Online. These are just a handful of the stunning portraits I've been able to get using this technique. First thing you want to do is hop on Social Club and search Dirty Worker under Jobs. Then scroll down to the stunt race called Blackout. Once you find the job, bookmark it so that you can play it the next time you get on GTA Online. I've made many maps over the years that have a dark background so that you can crank up the lighting and contrast to really make your characters pop. The nice thing about this particular map is the black ground, the black ground, <laughs> the background is so incredibly dark black that you really don't have to do much when you edit in the pics to really make everything pop. As you can see here, once you're in the map, pop up on that platform that I have in front of the black background. Position the camera wherever you want to compose the image the way that you want it to appear. I personally like to have it centered up really well, and if I can, get the character to have their eyes looking directly at the camera when I snap the shot. But that's entirely personal preference. Once you get the picture composed the way you want it to look when you actually are going to snap the photo, before you do the filtering effects, what you want to do is place a marker near the end of the overall clip that you've recorded. While on that marker, go back into the camera function and take your camera and move it as far away from your character as you possibly can. Push it all the way out in the opposite direction of your character until you hit that red spot. You know where the whole screen turns red because you've reached the end of the camera range? Once you've hit that, you're good. You're gonna leave that camera on that marker on that spot. Then go back to the marker itself and hit play. What that's gonna do is cause it to rain out where your camera is focused. Then use the L1 button to essentially tab back to your original marker where you have your photo composed. And as you can see, the raindrops are now gone. So now you've got your image composed, you have the raindrops removed. Now it's time to go in and play with the various filter levels until you're satisfied with what you get for an overall look on the image. I personally like to go up with contrast, then take the brightness down a little bit to really make it look very sharp. And then depending on what kind of colors you have in the picture, obviously you can play around with saturation and that kind of thing. Obviously you can see what my settings are. And if you wanna see what the pictures look like that I grabbed, go check out my Instagram page. I recently completed a creator portrait project where I got together with a whole bunch of super talented people from the community that like to customize motorcycles within GTA. And I brought them onto this map and got portraits of them together with some of these just absolutely gorgeous bikes. And this has been really fun to, for me to play around on. I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you found this video helpful, if you find this map helpful, drop me a comment, let me know about it. And if you have any questions, obviously feel free to hit me up. Happy to help in any way I can. And hey, thanks for watching the video.